today's session would be very different it will be extremely different in the sense we will be going to 36000 feet high and we will be having a high level view of our project management methodology which is used to drive data science data mining machine learning and artificial intelligence kind of projects over the few years there have been a lot of effort in terms of standardizing the methodologies and defining the best practices which are followed right in doing what in building your data science solutions and data science projects so we will understand about the various project management methodologies frameworks which are used for building data mining solutions we'll then look into kdd knowledge discovery databases cross industry standard cross industrial cr is for cross i for industrial standard processes for data mining we we'll look at sema which is sample explore modify model and assess right we'll discuss about these so since the 1980s the field of machine learning has emerged significantly and with that people have put in a lot of effort to come up with a few process frameworks which are going to guide us and which will help us perform our data science activities tasks uh, in such a way that success is more or less guaranteed and these are the three main models which people use usually follow these are also called as process frameworks or methodologies right then we will look at our unique methodology which almost always works we have looked into a lot of best practices from these three models and we have used our domain knowledge i mean for the past 15 years or so we have been extensively working in this area and we have put together all of our knowledge right for you guys and then we will deep dive into the into each and every stage of our unique methodology but i have to upfront tell you that our unique methodology is very close to crisp dm right so let's get started so these are the three project management methodologies or process frameworks whatever you want to call that of course framework is different from methodology people from quality background might want to counter that but that's fine it these are all thinly defined kdd crisp dm sema let's deep dive into each one of these and even before a deep dive let us understand about what is this data what do you mean by information what do we mean by knowledge and what do we mean by wisdom this is called as dikw pyramid okay so the, let's understand uh, this you know basically the risk if you want to take a decision based on data is very high if you see here red very high and the risk when you actually take your decisions based on wisdom is extremely low you would be in the green zone so how do we transition from data to wisdom is something which actually makes sense uh, to determine the success of your projects first you will have the data in the most raw format possible alongside explaining let me also give you an example right say you have messages sms data that you have okay so you collect the data okay as part of data and drawing information from the data what do we do we collect the data we pre process the data we disseminate the data we store the data we display to the customers and we protect the data data protection is extremely important okay and then 
these two data and information will tell you what what has been happening until now so data in the most raw format can be considered as sms data what would you do with that you try to process that data and you try to get some information out of that for example information could be there are 100000 telecom customers okay they are all in the age group of say 20 years to 45 years okay and probably another insight could be 60% of them use internet service in the evening from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. These are all the insights that we are trying to draw from the data. Okay. Based on this insight, you would move to the next step, which is knowledge. And this knowledge step will tell you how. Until now, you were able to answer questions pertaining to what? What is happening in this data, right? Which age group are you using? How many customers are there, right? So just the what part, what is there in the data is addressed as part of information. Then you move to knowledge. Knowledge will answer questions such as, all this is fine, but how do you think old age people, let me write it down here. How do you think old age people are using this SMS service? How, how are they using, right? This is knowledge, right? To go to one step further and try to understand how. And then you have wisdom. Wisdom is the highest stage that one can attain. And wisdom is all about implementing the answers to the knowledge step. And it also answers why. 60% of the people use the internet service in between 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Why? Right? That why part is wisdom. Right? So this is how you transition. When you have the data, it is in its most raw format. From data, you get the information that would take care of what part. Then you move to the knowledge part by answering how. How is it happening? And then why is it happening? Right? This is how we transition. And this is exactly what your data science is all about. Right? You move from data to information to knowledge to wisdom.